Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is the 28th video of uh, Power Pages 30 days learning series. Uh, if you are new to this learning challenge, uh, this is the uh, initiative I took this new year. Uh, it's a 30 days initiative I took this new year where I just wanted to produce the 30 videos covering all the topics of the Power Pages from basic to advanced. And uh, I, I actually have been discussing about all the portal stuff from security perspective, from designing perspective, uh, from integration perspective and from uh, from the coding perspective. So that is basically for the low code, no code developers, whether you are the professional developers or whether you are the site administration. So all the stuff we are actually discussing uh, in this Power Pages learning series. All right. And uh, since uh, this is the 20th video and you can understand that uh, we are closing uh, towards, uh, you know, the last state of the Power Pages learning series. So I just made a uh, announcement on my social media channel as well that I'm featuring all the portal heroes on the closing day of the Power Pages 30 days learning challenge. So I don't need to introduce those faces to you because they are all the well known faces either from the Microsoft. Or from the uh, from the from the community uh, itself. All right. So you know, like the Nick Dolman, who is the senior content developer at the Microsoft. So all the great stuff you are uh reading it through the ms learn about the power pages so nick dolman is behind that dilip singh is basically the principal program manager who is leading the microsoft power pages team so you have seen him uh, in a lot of events uh, in the community events where he has been discussing about uh, and sharing a lot of interesting stuff about the power pages deepthi jaiswal who is uh who is the security uh who is actually handling the security part of the power pages in the microsoft team and uh, recently she has published uh, the white paper of uh, uh, the security architecture of the power pages so we're going to have a lot of interesting uh, stuff uh, get to know uh, in, on the on the on the last day of the power pages uh, 30 days learning series along with that we have uh, 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 along with that uh, all the other uh, community heroes are also joining uh, this particular event, uh, the Victor, Nicholas, Oliver, Alexander, Francisco, Raz, Cyril, Ulrich, and Raghavan. So all the great stuff you see it uh, on the community related to the power pages. So these are all the portal heroes are there who are putting a lot of great efforts uh, to you know to share the best knowledge of the portals to you. All right. Now if I talk about the today's agenda, today I'm going to discuss about uh, how to reset and delete the power pages site. Uh, uh, before uh, getting into the session, I just wanted to give a quick recap. We discussed about the introductions. We discussed about the designing. We discussed about how to write the custom code. And uh, we also integrate the portals with uh, the SharePoint, Power App, Chatbot, Power BI. Uh, I was about to discuss about the Power Automate integrations as well. So I also listed down in my agenda earlier. But now I removed it uh, from here because I just got to know uh, that uh, in the recent, uh, you know, 2023 release wave uh, uh, that Microsoft has announced that they are going to embed the Power Apps, uh, sorry, Power Automate as part of the Power Pages. Okay, so we're going to have a dedicated connector. Uh, of the power pages so that you can make the communication directly between your power pages and your power automate. You don't need to rely on the HTTP triggers uh, that we used to do it in the earlier approach. So that's why I don't want to discuss the power automate integration. So uh, I am going to discuss about the release one feature of 2023 in my last session as well. So just stay tuned and uh, where I am going to discuss more about this power automate feature. OK, today topic is the reset and deleting the power pages site. So let's understand first uh, what is the difference between re reset and the delete from the power pages perspective. So before understanding the reset feature, uh, I was I just wanted to let you know like uh, what are the components that actually uh, make this power pages site. So there are three basic components. The first is your portal configuration. So whatever configuration you are doing, like creating site settings, creating multi-step forms, list or your forms, your content snippet, table permissions. So these all configuration are part of portal configuration. OK, and uh, then you have the portal solutions. So portal solution is something like uh, when you install or provision the portal, 
uh, you get to see some managed solution get installed in your dataverse environment so those all solutions are called uh, the portal solutions and the third is your portal website host so the portal app gets created uh, that you can see it in the in the port, uh, power apps maker portals.com that actually provides you the low code no code capabilities so it actually creates the website binding uh, and uh, that is also part of the power pages okay so it's just a code that actually forms the actual website so these are basically uh, three components uh, that is basically made up of power pages only now when when i need to reset the portal so that is the first uh, business requirement i need to understand that uh, what are the business use cases or uh, when should i decide that i i have to reset my portal so once a portal is provisioned uh, you might need to delete the resources from your portal under certain circumstances uh, for example uh, if you move your organization to another tenant or another data center so that is that could be a way uh, it's quite it is quite rare use case but that might be the possibility that you have installed the portal in a different tenant or in different environment but you now want to move it to another tenant or another data center if you want to remove the portal from your organization okay so let's say uh, it might be po possible like you have uh, you know installed the portal now you want to remove the portal from your organization or if your portal is not provisioned or installed correctly so that is also uh, might be the case so for example sometimes you install the portal and you get to see this error like uh, an error has occurred while provisioning your portal so sometimes if this kind of error is uh, you are getting while installing the portal so you need to reprovisioning it again uh, by doing the reset so you can reset the organization as well uh, sorry uh, reset the portal as well OK, so these are the use cases uh, when you need to reset the portal. Now, what happen when you reset your portal? When you reset, uh, it will delete all the hosted resources associated with that. Then you can provision the portal again. Once the reset operation is finished, your portal URL will not be accessible anymore. OK, so portal reset uh, because it, it has a lot of confusion in the in the community that when you reset the portal, will it delete my configuration? Will it delete all the portal components? So it's not like that. It is important to note that resetting your portal doesn't remove your portal configuration or the solution present in your instance and they will remain as is. So as I told you in my first slide deck there, there are basically three components of a power pages your solution your uh, configuration and your uh, hosted resources so hosted resources means your website uh, uh, binding or basically your portal app that actually uh, you know uh, make that particular website so so when you reset the portal your connection will be broken your solution will not be removed and your portal configuration will also not remove you can reset a completely configured portal as well. So as you as you can see, like we have configured the portal in last 30 days, we can res reset that portal as well, or we can port, uh, reset the portal who is not provisioned properly or uh, uh, its provision or updating got failed. So there are both the possibilities are there. So for that purpose, we can reset your portal. Now, so when you reset the power pages site among these three components, your only portal website host uh, get deleted okay that means your connection will be broken your uh, all the components will remain in your website only your connection will be uh, the connection that is there uh, so i would say it's a connection or it's a code that actually make your uh, site uh, available and make the connection with your configurations to make your site live so it actually broken that connection uh, and the rest of the configuration like your web pages forms your solution will remain there in your sites okay all right now what is the difference between release uh, reset and delete so reset is all about only uh, deleting the connection and uh, just relating the hosted resources so why i'm I'm, uh, I'm calling that connection because all the hosted resources that is uh, uh, basically used to create that website will be deleted so that that if you reset your website then then you will not be able to access that particular website so that is about reset deleting the power pages site is basically once a portal is provisioned or installed you might need to delete the resources from your dataverse under the certain circumstances 
For example, install the wrong portal type. So it might be the possibility that you have mistakenly installed uh, the different portal. You have created the power pages site with incorrect portal template. So that is also the capability. So you always uh, have to uh, have to be very careful while installing the portal because you cannot roll back that thing. Uh, install it uh, for the POC or the demo purpose. Now you want to delete it. So sometimes uh, your client wants to see the capabilities of the portal. So you just install the portal uh, in your live environment. Uh, but uh, later on, you just got to know like the client is not, uh, you know, client don't want to take ahead uh, the portal. They don't want to include the portal in their project. So you probably need to delete that portal completely. So reset will not work here because reset will only reset the connection. It only delete the uh, your hosted resources. But uh, the delete is basically to completely flush all the configuration, all your portal components, all the solutions from your Dataverse environment. Now, so as I told you, deleting means everything should be flushed out, whether it's a portal configuration, it's a portal solution or the portal website host. OK. Now the question is that what are the steps? Uh, how, how to delete this? Uh, Power pages site. What action we need to perform it in order to delete all these uh, components individually? Okay, so if you have to delete the portal website host, uh, you have to do uh, one thing. Either uh, uh, you have two options: whether you can go to the Power Apps Maker portals and delete the portal app. As I told you, this portal app is basically making the connection with uh, with your portal site and your portal configuration. So if you can just simply delete the portal app, that is uh, also fine to delete the website host or you can simply hit the reset button. So this will also delete your portal app that is basically connecting your site with your portal configuration. So that is the first thing how you can delete the portal website host. The second how you can delete the portal configuration to delete the portal configuration. You just need to head over to your portal management app and then you have to delete the website okay because portal website is your root website and all is your parent record and all the components like your web page your web link set table permission forms whatever you have created configuration related to the website will automatically flushed out okay so that is the one uh, uh, you know action you have to perform uh, in order to delete all the portal configuration and the last thing is your portal solution so this is one of the most challenging and one of the most complex activity. So if you if you if you you know are not uh, carefully deleting this portal solution in a specific order, then you may end up uh, facing a lot of issues. So deleting all the portal managed solution from Microsoft Dataverse in reverse order of their installation. OK, so this is the very important thing that how you can uh, you know delete the uh, the managed solutions. So there should be a specific order. So this action should be performed very carefully as it may lead to lot of dependencies issue if you don't delete them in a specific and a deliberate order. OK, so very, very important uh, you know, tip. I just wanted to give it to you that these solution. It's not like that you just go to the solution section in your uh, data verse and start deleting the solution randomly. It should not going to work. You have to delete the you know solution in the reverse order of their installation. Now, how you can find that information that which install which portal uh, you know solution was uh, installed in which particular date, or how you can uh, you know order your uh, you know all the Microsoft Dataverse solution related to the Power Pages. So I have written a very good article on that. So you can just follow this article. You can just find it on the Google like how to delete uh, the portal solutions. Uh, from the power pages where I have uh, demonstrated, uh, uh, you know, and given the step by step uh, instructions to delete the portal. OK, now if you don't delete the portal uh, or don't delete the solution in a specific order, you will uh, usually face uh, these two kind of issues cannot delete component. And when uninstalling one of the solution required by a portal in a dynamic 365, cannot delete component is thrown due to a dependency issues on the another solution. So these kind of dependency solution, uh, uh, you know, component related issues, you will face it whenever you try to delete uh, the solution in, uh, in not in a particular order. OK. 
All right, so let's quickly have a look uh, in the in my live environment that how you can manage this all the things. So if I head over to the power apps maker portals dot com. So this is something uh, this is the portal app actually and this actually uh, you know host my portal. So this is basically a hosted resource. So whenever I install the portal uh, three things happen. One is your portal app got created. The second thing your portal configuration got created that you can access from the portal management. And the third thing is your uh, your your uh, portal solution. So if you can uh, just head over to the solution, you get to see there are a lot of power portals, power pages solutions are there. See, so now you can see uh, there are a lot of power pages solutions are there. Dynamic 365 portals, uh, timeline, Azure storage, feedback. There are a lot of portal solutions are there. And these solutions are basically managed. So you cannot uh, you know, change the properties uh, within that. So if you have to reset the portal, uh, the first uh, thing you can do it, either you can just simply click here and delete the website. So this will reset the portal. Okay. Or what you can do is you can simply go to the admin center. And in the admin center, probably I can open it from here. All right, so let me head over to the admin center from here. OK, so uh, this is the admin center of my power pages site, so I had the option to reset the website as well. So don't confuse with the naming of it. It's it's not going to delete the site. It's a reset only. So once you hit this, you will ask like this action will delete the hosted resources of your portal. So hosted resources, I, I told you a couple of times it just a connection or it just an app. This is the app that is making the connection, so it will only delete that connection and uh, your portal URL will not be accessible obviously because your connection will be lost and uh, your hosted resources will be lost. So you will not be able to access the portal, but uh, this uh, uh, this action will not impact any portal configuration or the solution present in your environment. So they will remain as is. OK, so this is basically two steps. Uh, either you can reset it from here or you can reset it from here. But if you have to delete the portal, then uh, you need to you know, delete the website first. So if I just head over to the website, you just need to click the website and delete it. So this will delete all the related components of it. And the second option you have to do it, you have to you know, delete this portal app as well. And the last thing uh, you have to go to the solution and you have to uh, delete the solution in a particular order. OK, I think uh, if I just try to find uh, okay, if I just go to the power pages now. All right, so this is the URL I was talking about. So if I just copy this. And I will go to the portal. OK, so this is uh, an article I have written. Uh, a uh, couple of years back so and i have also mentioned here like what are the steps you have to perform to uninstall the portal you have to you know perform this step in the reverse order so there are a lot of solutions are there and there are other articles i have also mentioned uh, that you can take the help of from so you can find this uh, 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 all the information in this article all right so thank you so much. Uh, this is all about how to reset and uh, you know delete the portal. If you have uh, any questions, just uh, post it in the comment and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.